Yo, what's up, CNB Outdoors? What's going on, YouTube? Just standing outside right now, chilling, get some fresh air. Been stuck in the house uh, for a couple of days. Uh, we got a lot of bad weather down here in Texas. Freezing, freezing temperatures, ice on the road and stuff. Can't really get around. So, got a lot of people down here misplaced, you know and lost their homes and pipes busting, you know, in the house and stuff like that. But hope everybody doing good out there. And uh, I was out of power for like two days. So it's back on right now, but we supposed to have another, uh, another freeze tonight. So we'll see how that go. But uh, man, I want to thank all my subscribers, man. Everybody supporting me, man. The channel, man, the channel blew up overnight, man. So I don't know what else to say, man, but I appreciate the love from everybody, man. And, you know, I'm gonna keep it going, man. I'm gonna just get better from here. So we got we got some more footage coming soon. So y'all stay tuned. But uh, but one of, my, one of my subscribers asked me, do flounder taste better than crappie? So I say, I say, I don't know, man. That's, that's a good question. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what we're going to do, man. We're going to do flounder versus crappity, man. And uh, do a taste test. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up, man. And we're going we gonna to find out. So let's go. <laughs> Show y'all what I got in here, man. My little old freezer, man. Show y'all what I got in here, man. I got a little bit of everything in here, man. I got, got over here, I got the back straps. I got tender loins in here. I got wild hog tender loin over there. Got a, got a coon. That's a coon right there. in there. Y'all see them crappies down there. Flour. I got stuff, stuff all over. I got fish over there, but look down there. That deal sausage over there. That's how we're going to do it, man. This flounder right here. Then we got CNB. We got CNB outdoors on on the TV over there. All right, what's up, YouTube? This is boss man, CNB outdoors. We finna get this thing cracking. Finna make it do what it do. I got the fish all thawed out. It's ready to go. So, get everything set up. All we gonna be using is garlic, onion powder. Louisiana Cajun and a regular season. That's it. That's about all I put on my put on my fish. And uh we're gonna uh, fry it today. Gonna make it happen. So y'all stay tuned, let me prepare this fish. Fish are already being rinsed off and clean. I'm gonna rinse it off again though. I'm pet my pet my fish down, get all the water off of it. Alright, I'm gonna move this over here. 
season it up. Start off with a little garlic. I don't have no measurements. I just lightly, lightly coat the top and the bottom. And that's it. Season it to your own preference. This onion powder, what I'm putting on here now. That's it. And I flip it over. Do the other side. Same thing on the other side. Garlic. On your powder. That's it. That's all the seasoning I put on my fish right there. You see it. That's it. I'm gonna get my egg. Got my eggs right here. I think I'm gonna use about five. Should be good enough. Get my egg ready. Scramble my egg up. Cut it up. Got a little kill over here. Thank you. He, Thank you, bad. Come here. What are you doing? You cut it out. Come here. You cut it out. You stop that. You hear me? You stop that. All right, let me show y'all. Next, I'm going to show y'all how I mix my, uh, my batter up. You know what? I forgot, y'all. Let me get this grease started. And then I'll come back and do that for y'all. Hold on. This is the kind of grease we're using today. Gonna let that get hot. Let that get hot while I show y'all how I mix this uh mix this batter up. My son just walked in. Y'all seen him on other video, drill. Watching CNB out do. Got him, got him, got him. That's what I'm talking about. See if y'all do. I'm gonna show y'all how I mix my batter. This is what I use. I already show y'all what I use. This regular season on the Cajun. 
what I do, I use like a half. I use a half a bag of this. That's all I use, a half a bag. I use about a half a bag because you use a whole bag. Sometimes it'd be a little too spicy, you know, for certain people. Put it up. Then I mix it with the regular regular season. Mix it up real good. Paper towel grit. All right, right now we're just waiting on the grease to get hot. So y'all stay tuned. Boss man, CNB outdoors. I got the grease uh, hot. I'm finna get this flounder ready. So everything will go, go smooth. That way I ain't got to do no stopping. So I'm gonna get this flounder together right quick. Get it all seasoned up. And all then we're gonna put some, put some fish in the grease. I'm gonna cut these fillets in half so they won't be so big for the fry. CNB I'll do it, baby. All right, that's the crappie over there. That's the flounder over there. Let me season this flounder up right quick. Same thing. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Flip it over on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Garlic. Cover this flounder up and try to get ready for it. I go through a roll of paper towel, so I don't want to hear nothing about no. I, 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 I go through a roll of paper towel. All right, let me get my egg. So, I know some people use mustard on their fish, and some people use the egg. The only time I really use mustard is when I'm eating catfish. But I usually coat, you know, coat the rest of my fish with egg. So everybody do it different. But today we're gonna use some eggs. All right, y'all. We got the grease hot. We're gonna start with the uh, crappie. Dip it in the egg. Then I'm gonna dip it in the batter. Then we're gonna put it in the grease. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out to Doug Fishing, Doug Fishing Jump. You know what I'm saying? I be watching his shows too. You know what I'm saying? I got it, got him playing right now. What's up, dude? All right. What I do? I take I take my my fish, put it in the egg. You can see the egg. I 
let the excess drip off of it. Then I put it in a the batter. Then I grab me another piece and do it. Two. I'll do about two or three pieces. Dip it in there. Since I'm using a small fry today, we're just gonna do two pieces. You know what I'm saying? I clean my hand off. Then I just Battle these, battle these fillets up real good. I'll try to use one hand, keep my other hand clean. All right, shake that cornmeal off. Lay it in your little basket. Let him go. Rinse my hand off. I do a lot of hand rinsing. All my homeboys used to tease me, be like, why, why you wash your hands so much? Hey, I'm, I'm just clean. I'm just a clean person. Girl, watch him, he try to bite me. <laughs> hey, cut that. <laughs> Get him on camera. Hey. hey. You cut, to, that, you cut that out. He trying to come around the corner and give me. <laughs> All right, what we gonna do? I'm gonna fry. I'm gonna fry the crappie up first. I'm gonna put it in one pan, and I'm gonna fry the flounder up. I'm gonna put it in another pan. And I ain't gonna tell nobody what it is. I'm just letting everybody taste it. And then we're gonna do. We're gonna do the taste test in the end. Look at that, look at that fine specimen. Look at that, look at that fine specimen. All right, y'all. When that fit, when them fillets start riding to the top like that, they, they ready to come out of there. But my, my wife like her fish extra crispy, so I let it stand there a little bit longer. Look at that boy, golden brown. Look at it, boy. Look at that fine specimen. All right, got them out of there. Put another round in. Dip them in the eat. This big, this big fillet right here, put it in there. Stick him right there. Wash my hand off. Throw some bad on these here. Trying to keep from making a miss. Yo, what's up, CNB Outdoors boss man? I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all what uh what happened to me, man. It, it's been a rough year for me, man. I ain't been to work since uh, Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I had had something unfortunate happen to me at work, but uh, I'm gonna tell y'all the story. You know. What I'm you know what I'm saying, but I've been I've been working at uh, this job for 12 years, and then 
all of a sudden one day I take a drug test, a hair follicle, and uh, my hair follicle test come back positive for cocaine. So I'm like, what? I say, nah. I say, nah. I say, y'all got me mixed up with somebody else. I say, I ain't never done no drugs in my life. So the company sent me to another another clinic, and uh, I took the took the hair follicle test over. Okay, when the test was when the test results came back from this clinic, they came back negative. So everybody like. Okay, well, why they saying you positive over there, but you went to this clinic and they saying you negative. Like, like something ain't right. So, while this was going on, I went and took another test on my own from at another clinic, uh, Quest, Quest Diagnostic. They did a hair follicle test too. And that test came back negative also. So, but I didn't tell my job about that one. So, my job ended up sending me back to the same clinic that I went to the first time. I took another hair follicle test. And uh, that hair follicle, the, the, uh, the retest came back positive again, but it came back positive in a, a lesser amount. And uh, so, you know, we, we, we trying to figure out like, well, why this clinic right here keeps saying you positive? And you done went to two other clinics and your test come back negative. So something, something ain't making no sense. So to make a long story short, you know, my company, they end up, they fired me, they let me go. You know what I'm saying? They said they had to stand by, you know, the findings from the clinic that they use as a, as a company. Even though I went to two different other clinics and came back negative, you know what I'm saying? That, that didn't mean nothing. So, I've been out of work since December, but you know, I tried to find some lawyers, you know, to help me fight this or whatever. But in the state of Texas, man, you can't get no lawyer to do nothing in the state of Texas. So, and all this, all this took place within the same month. You know, so I took, I went and took them retests. All this, I took all this, all this is happening in the same month. So if I'm testing positive at one clinic, the mother test should have came back positive too, right? So I don't know. But anyway, they fired me. But, uh, you know, I was sitting around here, I was stressed out, you know what I'm saying? About to lose everything. And one of my cousins told me, hey man, just go apply at my, at my job and uh, see, and uh, just let them know what's going on and see what happened. So I went to this other company, uh, Republic. And I feel like the application, man. I ain't lie. I told them what was going on. And uh, I feel the application not. And uh, they called me. And uh, they said, well, you know, we ain't worried about what happened over there. As long as you good over here on our end, you good. So they ran all my stuff on their end. So, you know what I'm saying? So everything, everything came back good. So they hired me. But my thing is, man, I've been at, I've been at my other company. I was at my other company for 12 years. And you would think that, you know what I'm saying? They would do something to, to help me out for being, you know, a loyal employee for 12 years. You know what I'm saying? But a company that I ain't never worked for that don't even know me was willing to give me a job and to give me a chance to get all this here straight and out. You know what I'm saying? But I would have thought that my company that I worked for for 12 years would have would have did the same thing for me, but I guess not. So what that tell you about that company? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man, but maybe... It was supposed to happen that way, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, but. Let me get this fish out of here, y'all. I'm gonna let that grease warm up before I put another batch in there, but I'm gonna get it ready though. But yeah, they let me go, man. 
Sad. Sad company. Company I worked for for 12 years. You know, every lawyer that I tried to find, tell me. They all said the same thing. Well, it's hard to win cases like that in the state of Texas. So, I'm just, I'm right now, I'm just, well, I ain't, I ain't S out of luck now, cause I got a job now, but it just messed up. You know what I'm saying? How everything happened. I ain't never did, I ain't never did drugs in my life. But then I started doing my research. I started doing my research and uh, one of my one of my partners told me the same thing happened to him at the, at the same clinic. I'm sure y'all know I know about this clinic, Houston Houston Area Safety Council, Diesel. And uh, he said the same thing happened to him. He said his test came back positive for cocaine too. And he said he know. He know he don't do drugs. He ain't never did drugs in his life either. So he started doing research, and what he found out was that if you uh, if you pre-diabetic or if you got diabetes or if you got some kind of liver or kidney kidney problems or what, whatever going on, or if your sugar too high. It'll cause you to. It'll cause your drug test to show a false positive for cocaine. And I was like, I was like, wow, really? So I looked it up on Google, and yeah, it was right there, plain as day. So now I got to go to the doctor and see, see if I got anything wrong with my kidneys or see if I'm a diabetic, cause it it do run in my family. But that's enough about me, y'all. Let me get back on this fish. Let me get back in here. Look at that. Well, look at well, look at that crop. Man, you don't seen any crop that looked that good. Take a let me take a closer look at it. You don't seen any crop that looked that good. What you doing, honey? Huh? That's Grizz, y'all. He a Patterdale Terrier. That's my little buddy. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Where you, Where you going? Where you going? No, you ain't gonna lick on my hand. Man. No, 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 no. You calm down. He, he, he get riled up real quick. You gotta calm him down. So he, he get riled up real quick. Look at that. Well, man, look, man, look at that crappy, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all ain't never seen no crappy look that good, man. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't want to hear nobody in the company me talking about, man. What you talking about, man? You know, I'm just, I'm just having fun. <laughs> Let me get this out of here. Y'all, y'all, hold on. All right, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get these last couple of pieces out of here. All right, what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm gonna refresh this batter up. You know, so I fried the, I fried the crappie in the, in its first batch. So I'm gonna pull this out and put a uh, fresh batch in here. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. If you missed it in the beginning. I use Cajun. And then I use season. I don't have no measurements. I just use I use my judgment. I use equal equal amounts. Half and a half. All right. All right, second batch. Second batch, good to go. All right, what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna put this pan in that pan. 
Now I got, now I got space, some more space. The last piece of cropper right here. That was one of them, that was one of them hogs right there. Look at that filet. All right, y'all. Boss man, CNB Outdoors. I'm done with the crappie. Now I'm finna start on the flounder. All right, y'all. We're gonna start on the flounder now. We do it the same way. Take the flounder, dip it in the egg, then go in the batter, then go in the grease. Like I said before, some people use mustard, some people use eggs. I use mustard too, but mostly on my catfish. Cajun season strong. That pepper get up in your nose. Put one piece in there. Two piece. Three piece. Let it go. Got the flour in there right now. Look at that, boy. Look at them fillets, boy. All right, y'all, we got the flounder going right now. Man, look at that flounder. Man, look look at that beautiful specimen. Man, you ain't, man, you ain't never seen no flounder look that good, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I, I know you have not man. man, say, All right, y'all. <laughs> Last piece. Last piece of flounder right here. The moment of truth. Y'all stay tuned. That's it, folks. Last piece. No, it's gonna come out. When, once you put it on TV, it's gonna come out big like this. No, I'm saying like what you put it on the computer, it might give me more, oh. more options. All right, y'all. Right now, I'm just cleaning up everything. And we about to we about to get this taste test on. All right, y'all. Hey, boss man, CNB Outdoors. Moment of truth coming, y'all. I'm pulling the last piece out right now. And I just tore it, tore it all up. But that's it, y'all. Turn everything off. Let me turn around so y'all can see, see this flounder. Look at that flounder. Let me slide this over so y'all can see. Man, look at that. That's the flounder. That's the crap. That's the flounder. That's the crap. That's the flounder. That's the crap. All right. So let me cover these up. Cover these up. All right. Put this back in the cabinet. Get this out the way. All right. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a number one on the flounder and I'm gonna put a number two on the crappie. I'm gonna let everybody taste. I ain't gonna tell them what it is. I'm gonna let them taste you. And whichever one they like, they're gonna write their number down. Then we're gonna see which one better, crappie or flounder. Y'all stay tuned. See me out, dude. I got number one on the flounder. 
I got number two on the crappie. So I got everything set up. Now, let me go gather up all my taste testers. All right, y'all, boss man, CNB outdoors. All right, here go, here go all my, my, my test, my test tasters. This is all my test tasters right here. What you laughing at? Huh? Joey, what you laughing at? Nothing. All right, so what we're gonna do is, everybody gonna get a piece of fish out of one, number one. Okay. They gonna taste, y'all gonna taste that one. And then once you taste that one, then you gonna taste number two. And then I'm gonna give you the pad right there. You write whatever number you think is the best. You write it on that pad. Don't let nobody see you. <laughs> don't, let, don't let nobody see you know. Okay. All right, Junior? Don't let nobody see you know. You wanna be a taste tester? Come on in here. We are gonna do we gonna do the best out of five. All right, we 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 got we got another taste tester. We got another taste tester. So we're gonna do the best out of five. All right. So everybody everybody let, let me turn the camera around. All right. So everybody get a, a piece of number one and taste it. You taste it like you sipping on some fine wine. While it little while around, get little while around in your mouth. He, he that boy, that boy just grabbed a whole fillet. Look at it. Look at that. Slow down, Junior. Wait a minute, man. Hold up, man. Slow down, man. Wait a minute. Get grab your plate. Get your plate. Hold it. Go stand, stand, stand over here. Come stand right here. Stand right there. Yeah, stand right there. Hold your plate right there. You got to. Yeah, just, we just tasting it. <laughs> that boy, that boy grabbed him a whole fillet. <laughs> that boy, stay, that boy, say forget that taste. We, I'm about, I'm about to see what, see what's going on with this fillet. All right, let me get my, let me get mine. Break me a piece off. All right, I got mine. All right, we waiting on, waiting on one more, waiting on Marquise to come back. I crossed my legs for this one. <laughs> hmm, 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 hmm. All right, we, we waiting on one, we waiting on one contestant to come back. All right, y'all. Everybody got number one. We all agree? Mm -hmm. Everybody got number one. All right, go on, taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. about that, about that. Okay. All right. Don't get too full now. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to go straight to number two. Don't <laughs> Me <it>. too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep All right. Y'all taste it? All right. Y'all y'all got the taste? All right. All right. All right. All right. Everybody. I guess. Yeah. I don't want y'all to get it mixed up. Okay. So put, this, put, number, put number one down. Put number one down. All right, we're gonna put number one down. All right, now everybody gonna go number two. All right, this is number two. <laughs> hey, come back, where you going? Where you, where you going, man? Come back. He the one around the corner, he trying to hide. <laughs> We, we got to finish doing the taste test, man. Where you going? Come on. All right, y'all. Number two. Everybody go eat. This is number two right here, y'all. Okay. <laughs> it, it, 
It's, it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty close now. I, think I, I know which one I'm gonna go. With. I gotta take. I got. I gotta take one more bite though. Let me see. One more. Let me make sure. I'm gonna follow your lead on that. Let me make sure now, because right, I want. I want to be absolutely correct. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he had to go. He had to go back to go back to number one because he he confused. All right. Okay. Okay, we got another one going back to number one. <laughs> we got another one going back to number one. I already know. I already. I done already made my decision. What you think, Junior? You already know which one you're going with. Okay, don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, put your put your plate down. All right, now wait. Just wait. All right. Okay. So what I want everybody to do now? I want everybody to come get the the pad over here. Write whatever number. You think it tastes the best and keep it to yourself. Don't let nobody see your number. <laughs> which which other one you think tastes tastes the best, Junior? Write the number down. Don't show nobody. So put it on your put it in your pocket. Yeah, put it now hold it. Put it in your pocket. Don't let nobody see you. That boy, that boy slid that. They pocket smooth. <laughs> all right, all right, go ahead, Jamal. All right, this is Jamal. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Drew. My turn as you walk in towards the paper. <laughs> 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 All right, my turn, my turn now. <laughs> All right, put that in there, so. All right. What we gonna do? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say everybody show their number ones, and then I'm gonna say tell everybody after after we show the number ones, I'm tell everybody show their number two. Y'all ready? Yep. All right. What are number ones that? <laughs> All right. All right. We got three. We got three number ones. All right. What are two that? You fake. <laughs> All right. Got two two number two. So hey, there you have it. Number one. Hey. Number one. Number one is flounder. Number two is crappy. So hey, there y'all have it. That flounder got some. Hey. <laughs> hey flounder, flounder win. Hey, I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. Hey. The crapper tasted pretty good, yeah, man. It did. Hey, yeah, both of them real good. Hey, they both of them. Hey, they neck and neck. Both of them neck and neck. But hey, they say the fly on the wind. So hey, hey, I can't do nothing about that. I'm, I'm a crapper fan. I, I can't do nothing about that. But that's it, man. I, I appreciate one. everybody watching, man. CNB Outdoor, these boss men. Y'all stay tuned. I appreciate all my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Channel blew up overnight. You know what I'm saying? I'm real excited. And uh, y'all stay tuned, man. We got a lot of footage coming. <laughs> and uh, hey, what's that dance? I don't, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. I love y'all. Peace. CNB Outdoor.